Okay guys, uh, welcome back to my uh, action figure reviews and uh, this week uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, retro review or a vintage review of um, one of Hot Toys um, older figures uh, it's um, of the uh, T800 uh, from T1 the Arnold Schwarzenegger figure and uh, just having a look at the box now uh, this figure originally came out in uh, 2010 so it's uh, a good like seven years old now. I got it um, pretty much um, from release. I started collecting um, Hot Toys around the time this figure was released. And uh, yeah, it was kind of like uh, one of the figures that um, started me down the road um, of um, collecting um, uh, Hot Toys and other action figures and all that. I'm uh, just looking at the box now. Really nice um, box design with the uh, chrome outer sleeve. And then um, we've just got the cutaway bit, and I don't know if you can just see there, picture of the figure in uh, like the red sort of like um, Terminator vision. Uh, little uh, indents there, uh, the uh, Cyberdyne uh, logo on the side there. Uh, that was when Hot Toys was uh, at its 10th anniversary, I guess. Um, been going now uh, since um, 2000 so um, well, it'll be coming up to 20 won't it um, before long so it just shows um, how time um, flies but yeah really nice box design anyway um, obviously representing the um, T800 endoskeleton in its um, design and um, this followed um, the line of the Terminators with uh, the uh, chrome box uh, design all of the Terminator figures the T2 Sarah Connor T1000 had a similar sort of box design with the uh, chrome. So yeah, really classic, nice box. And um, yeah, yeah uh, little um, sort of like, um, blast from the past, if you will. And as I say, this was the figure that kind of like really started off my um, uh, collecting bug um, with Hot Toys. So. Uh, we just um, take that slip cover off and I'll just show you briefly the uh, clamshell. Okay, so uh, I've actually um, put the uh, clamshell box in uh, upside down, uh, but that doesn't matter too much. Um, so yeah, most of the things have been taken out of the box now. Um, the boxes are just kept in storage. Um, I just got it out for this review. Um, there's a few things uh, still in the box, like the um, instructions. Um, his uh, cargo pants are in there and uh, probably the old boots as well from this figure um, and like selection of hands and I think the uh, medical kit um, for uh, you know operating on his eye and his hand uh, on his arm rather are still in the box but yeah um, you can see the old cargo pants that came with the figure are in the box now uh, because I swapped them out for the um, cargo pants of the uh, the um, Terminator battle damage figure that came out about a couple of years ago as um, they were more um, accurate colour wise and the boots I also thought were um, better looking but I'll get I'll get um, all of this out and um, lay it out in front of the figure and whatnot and just show you all the stuff that um, came with the figure and all that now, there's a lot of reviews and all that obviously of the figure because it's um, been out for so long but yeah I just wanted to um, do a vintage review and uh, you know show a bit of love for the older figures and all that I'll just show you on um, the side of the box as well um, with a um, brief synopsis of um, the uh, the plot of T1 on the side there so yeah credits on the back uh, head sculptor um, Yuli and um, I think she um, done a magnificent job I think it's a she um, I know JC Hong is a man, but um, Yuli I think was is a woman, and um, yeah, I think they've done a magnificent job on the head sculpt. But we we'll get to that okay, guys. Minute. So that's just a um, selection of the accessories that uh, were already in the box that I haven't used. Um, pretty much all the hands um, that he came with. I um, seem to remember I bought extra hands for this figure. You know, um, not long after release, you know, to make a secondary figure and all that and um, I anticipate that I might need a few extra like bits and bobs um, so I have got um, a few extra pairs of hands so that's why there's all these hands left in the box uh, there's um, just the original cargo pants as I say they were um, always too light a shade compared to the ones worn by Arnie in the film 
the instruction manual which hasn't been opened yet. Uh, there's the old boots. You know, nice enough, but I always thought they were a bit, um, you know, bulky looking on the figure and, um, you know, a bit toyish. You know, even at the time and all that, and um, the um, updated figure uh, addressed that problem. And there's just a few bits from the medical kit and that are still in there, the pliers and the X-Acto knife have been removed and are on display at the moment. So I'll just uh, get all the rest of the accessories out and I'll show you what actually came with um, the complete figure. Okay guys, so I've just got all the accessories out. Brief look at all the um, stuff came with the hands I've already uh, shown you. Uh, there was the uh, secondary head sculpt, the um, battle damage. Battle damaged eye, uh, the uh, hair uh, singed off after the um, uh, fire uh, in the um, Technoa, uh, well just um, uh, outside the Technoa, and um, the um, singed eyebrows, the lack of eyebrows, and um, yeah that's the, um, he doesn't adopt that look for too long, it's only maybe about um, 10 or 15 minutes um, after Technoa and um, the brief chase with Carl Reese and Sarah Connor and um, he gets back to his um, motel and um, starts operating on his eye so you've got that always nice to have a secondary sculpt with these figures uh, really do like that when Hot Toys um, put a secondary sculpt in so you get um, you know more bang for your buck there's uh, another hand that you get um, the uh, ungloved hand and the finger pulled down, um, replicating that look of um, when he's operating on his on his arm. And there's a secondary um, a forearm that you get with uh, the exposed endo, so you can uh, pose him up that way. You know, working on the arm. Uh, uh, we've got the um, Exacto knife. Really nicely detailed in one six. Um, actual metal there, and um, the pliers or vice grips uh, again in metal, which is really nice. Really nice to have these um, accessories in metal. And at a time when uh, Hot Toys, um, back in about 2010, um, most of their um, things were uh, done in plastic, so it's quite a rarity to get uh, metal accessories. And um, just the uh, the medical uh, grips. Uh, you get um, four of them all together. And then uh, moving on to the weapons, obviously the uh, iconic uh, uh, 45 long slide with laser sighting. Uh, yeah, nicely um, replicated in 1.6. Obviously it uses that the early part of the film, um, right up until uh, Techno, where um, he loses it in the uh, gunfire. Uh, then you get this shotgun, I think it's called um, an Ithaca or something like that, someone might uh, correct me on the pronunciation, um, an Ithaca um, pump action shotgun, he uses that, uh, he requisitions one from a cop car, I seem to remember, um, and um, he uses it in the chase with Carl Reese and uh, Sarah Connor. It's not the actual shotgun that he gets from the gun store, all these guns he gets from the gun store, but this um, actual one he requisitions from a cop car. He does get a shotgun from the um, gun store, but it's um, a Spaz 12, I think, um, with a flip over stock. And then you get, obviously, the uh, Uzi 89mm. Again, another real um, iconic, iconic um, gun from the... Uh, from the gun store scene, the uh, strap. So you're pretty well catered for, um, gun-wise. Uh, it's missing a few guns, but they're guns that are mainly used um, later on in the film, you know, for the police shootout and all that. Uh, I think you're missing a, a revolver, and um, obviously the spare shotgun and the AR-15 um, uh, AR um, assault rifle, but that came with the uh, battle damaged figure. And uh, yeah, so a real nice uh, lot of accessories. And as I say, this really does cover the first half of the movie. And um, a lot of people tried to make um, police, um, the police shootout version, because that's like e equally as iconic. 
and um, with um, parts from this, which you could do really. Um, you just have to get a, another leather jacket and um, like a grey um, t-shirt or something like that uh, to replicate that look. But yeah, real nice um, set of accessories. And um, yeah, as I say, that secondary head sculpt is always um, a nice touch. So uh, let's uh, move on to the um, the uh, main uh, attraction. Yeah, the figures. Okay, guys, and here's the man himself. The um, representation of Arnold from T1. He needs a punk graffiti t shirt and the M65 jacket. Bright coloured cargo pants. The uh, boots from the uh, Battle Damage figure. Look, look more um, accurate, uh, much better looking, and the cargo pants as well. So it's definitely an upgrade for this figure, but yeah. Just have a look at that sculpt. Mm. Really fantastic. You know, I still think it's right up there with um, one of um, Hot Toys' best likenesses. Um, especially when you consider it um, next to the Battle Damage version, which I think was like way off, really. You know, you can cover it up um, with the um, gargs and all that, the gargoyle glasses. But um, as I say, this was Yuli who sculpted this one, Hot Toys. I think she's done an like, amazing job. Just have a look at the battle damage head side by side. This is equally as good. No, I just love that expression as well, you know, that moody, like, slight, you know, look, looking up sort of thing, and you can, you know, just pose him looking down a little bit, like a real sully look. And his face and all that, I think they've just captured the expression perfectly with this figure. Just show you the uh, detail of the back back of the jacket is fantastic you know the studs all like little metal um, faithfully reproduced the uh, little chain hanging off the side just fantastic and the body that it came on as well I think it accurately matched um, Arnold's physique you know perfectly chunky tree trunk legs and the huge chest that he had you know, the chunky like, neck and all that. You know, he was a big dude back in um, T1 days. You know, he was still probably, you know, um, really working out quite heavily and all that in his um, Conan days, I guess it was. And uh, yeah, this was, um, he was already um, like a movie star, obviously, with the Conan films and like Red Sonja and all that. But this kind of like catapulted old, old Arnold after T1. It was like, Success after success, you know, Commando, you're a Running Man, Predator, Commando, and like he just had a list of like hit after hit. And he was like Mr. 80s, Mr. Action 80s. You no know, other people like tried to compete, you know, Stallone, obviously, Bruce Willis, uh, John Claude Van Damme to a lesser extent, and the um, Seagal like hanging on to his coattails, but he was the ultimate. Arnold and no one's really come close but yeah just a fantastic figure and as I say I was absolutely when I first got this figure I was really new into um, collecting hot toys and you know I'd grown up you know having G.I. Joe figures and stuff like that which were like nice enough and all that but this was just it just really blew me away just the um, the accuracy of it and all that and the attention to detail and I just thought this is unbelievable you know and um, yeah I mean I've failed to be blown away by a Hot Toys figure in quite a while really, maybe I've just become so used to them and all that, that you know the novelty is worn off, but I remember when I first got this guy and I just thought oh my god, like this is fantastic and uh, you know I'm going to spend a hell of a lot of money on these things, you know, if they keep on producing figures like this, but you know I really have cut down my collecting in recent years certainly, I went through a period of collecting like, you know, it's, probably about 20 30 figures a year and all that but I've really cut down I think I only got about three or four hot toys last year if that and um, yeah but this is just like an homage I guess to um, one of my favorite all-time figures um, anyone who knows my channel and all that knows that I'm a massive Arnie fan and uh, massive um, Terminator fan, obviously and uh, yeah so um, yeah just want to show a little bit of love for the figures and all that and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed that you know retro view and all that I know this is a well old figure and all that most people are like won't be interested in it and all that but 
you know, I just wanted to like showcase him off, show what a magnificent figure it was, and still is. You know, as I say, it's still you know one of the best Arnold likenesses, and this is like a figure that's like seven years old. You know, so yeah. You know, if you missed out on him first time and you're getting into the hobby and you know, you, you know a fan of Terminator and Arnold and all that, you know, you won't be disappointed with this set. If you can get like a nearly new one or something like that, or one that's been like well looked after, then um, yeah, I'd say go for it for sure. Because you know, hopefully you'll be like as blown away as what I was. So yeah, thanks for viewing that, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. And uh, yeah, keep loving the figs and all that. And uh, yeah, I'll check you later.